Hi, and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. Today I'm picking up exactly where I left off last time, so jumping right in in the middle of um, my first couple of pages in my PEI travel pocket pages. Now, I would like to put something above and below this pan panoramic, I almost said pandemic, <laughs> I have pandemic on the mind, um, uh, this panoramic photo of the beach, we were at Cavendish and it was freezing, um, we stayed there for a short time and then we went for a walk because it was too cold to stay still. So I have this uh, Chamel 6x6 album, not album, but little uh, paper pack that I just keep beside my pocket page supplies because I like to draw from some of those. I find that that uh, collection in particular is pretty, um, it, it, it's very versatile, so you can use it for lots of different things. So I really liked this little camera strip, and I'm not too sure that this style goes with what's in the other pages on this on this spread, but I kind of feel like I, I like it, so I go with it. And that's sometimes what I do with Project Life, is uh, instead of trying to make it look really pretty and perfect and beautiful from an artistic perspective, I sometimes just go with what I love and what I like in the moment. So here's another photo. It's very similar to the other one, but it's taken from the other angle. And what I'm trying to show two things here. First of all, we're all bundled up and we have our blankets and sweaters on. It's obviously very cold. But the other thing that I really wanted to capture was how barren the beaches were. There were no people. We have been to Cavendish many, many times over the course of our lives, and it is usually packed and even on days when there's a riptide which there was this day so you weren't allowed to swim but even on those days and even on cool days it is typically really really full of people who just love to go and sit on the beautiful red beaches and so um, it was very very unusual for us to be one of maybe I, I mean there was another family kind of close to us but other than that we had the beach to ourselves and there were some more people down the beach quite a ways like if you went for a walk you would encounter people but just sitting on your own beach towel you didn't encounter anybody so that was something that makes this trip to PEI quite a bit different than our other trips to PEI that we've had in the past. Now, this is a Studio Calico stamp set from one of the kits from last year, and I really love this stamp set. So I've decided to, I'm kind of playing around with some different options. I, I stamped the ring in black, and then I also stamped it in green in an Ali Edwards pigment ink. And I really like that green one. Um, so I think I'm going to go with that. But I, 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 it looks like I'm going to make up both of these. So then I'm, I'm stamping um, vacation mode in black inside both of those rings. And then I'm stamping the little beach scenery in black inside of both of those. And I'm using Versamark Fine, Versafine ink in black onyx. And... You see how that looks? I really love it. And when I zoom in a little bit, you can really notice a little bit better that there is um, that green outline on the one on the right. And then you, there's even a little dot for the sun. But to be honest, it's hard to get the sun lined up with the outline stamp. And it would be easy enough to just take a yellow marker and dot, and dot it. Uh, but anyhow, it's, it's, uh, it's cute. I like these kind of layered stamps and that you can personalize them. So I do have to let that sit because I did use pigment ink. So I used some of Allie Edwards pigment ink for that. And uh, so I will have to let that dry. So while I let it dry, I'm going to draw some lines. And this is my hot off the press journaling template, which I've been using left, right and center this year. And so uh, the bottom of the template has these really long journaling lines. And I like these for spanning across a four by six photo. As you can see, because it's a template, it doesn't, there are breaks in it. So it can't go all the way across or else the lines would get pretty wobbly. It would be quite weak. And so uh, there are these, you end up with these broken lines, but then you can go back and just add them in. I'm using my Stettler Lumocolor pen for marking on these photos. Um, I do find that I can use other pens on photos when I've printed them on matte paper, but I've been unable to source the matte paper uh, since 
a couple of several months ago and so I've been using glossy paper and I find that the Lumo color works much better on the glossy paper. So you might have thought that those lines look a little weird. You can kind of obviously tell that I filled in the gaps by hand, but once you put your journaling over these lines, you don't even see anymore that they're not all the way intact and they're not consistent all the way through. So here's what my journaling says. It says, Friday, our first full day on the island, we packed up and went to Cavendish Beach. It was so cold. There was no way we were swimming in that water. Also, dangerous riptides were reported, so no one was allowed to swim. We sat on our beach blankets, ate snacks, then packed back up and went for a walk on the dunes. And now I'm ready to punch this out. And I'm trying to find the right punch. So my one inch punch is not going to, so I punched the one that I don't like as much with the one inch punch because I was pretty sure that that was just going to be too close. And I wanted there to be just a little bit of a border around the edge of it. So I used the other punch, which is a one and I think it's a one and four eighths. No, a, a one and three eighths um, punch. So I am now thinking about what I'm going to put on this photo because I feel like it just needs a little something over to the side there to balance off with the weight of the people that's that's us, that's my family, um, off to the right hand side. So I am going to stamp this stamp. It says the ocean is calling and I must go. And that is from... I don't know who that's from. Let me check. It is from Studio Calico. So you can see how this half page here is starting to shape up. And I want to put this carefree word wood veneer. Uh, this is from my stash. I can't remember where it came from. And then I'm looking in my wood veneers of which I do have a couple of chipboard pieces mixed in with some of my wood of my wood veneer. This is one of them. So I went looking for a wood veneer geotag, but I pulled out one of these. These are from Studio Caligo. They're those little chipboard ones. And they're so similar to the wood veneers that I just popped them in with my wood veneers in the similar shapes. So I do sort my wood veneers by shape and I keep them in that, that container. Uh, it's basically a whole bunch of small containers that all attach to one another. And I get that container at Michael's. They come in either two packs or three packs. I can't remember. And they come in various sizes, but I like the ones with the pink lids. They're the best size for wood veneers. And they fit nicely in my Jetmax drawer on their side. So this card here that says right now, I'm going to use this as a filler card. And I'm just going to fill up all the space that would have been for journaling with these cute little journaling flags or, or word flags. I'm using the words roam, gone exploring, wide open spaces, and adventure. And I'm just using my Tombow Aqua Glue, which is good for gluing paper to paper. And there you go. And now I'm just going to use my tiny attacher to put staples at, at the ends of each of those flags so that they look anchored on the page. And now this card is from the August Stories by the Month kit. And it says, August love stories this real life. Wait. Um, August love this real life. And then stories is in the middle, I guess is what that's probably supposed to say. <laughs> I didn't realize until I said it out loud that that phrase originally didn't make any sense. <laughs> Uh, so I am going to put a little car along the bottom of this one because so many of so much time was spent in the car on this trip that I really want to you make good use of this tiny little car stamp that came in the Rome stamp set from Ali Edwards this month. So I stamped the little dotted line from the Ali no from the Ellie Studio um, title no not title what is that called. It is called Noted Volume 2, and it's from Ellie 
Ellie Studio again, and then I just paired it with that car stamp from the Ellie Edwards Rome stamp set. And I just think that that's a perfect way to kind of wrap up this, the bottom part of this card. So I'm gonna add my journaling now. It says, we spent so much time in the car being silly together and listening to classic rock on the local radio station. Then I underline it to make it anchored to the page. And it looks like that one is done. So I am going to go ahead and put all of these cards in their pockets. When I'm scrapbooking this many pages at once, I try to keep things uh, together as much as possible. So as soon as I can put things in the pockets, I do so, so that I don't have big piles of cards piling up and I don't know where they were intended to go. So here I am on the second side of that spread now. So the second page of that spread, which is really the first full spread in this book, the obviously the other side of the other page was my first page. <laughs> and so immediately I picked out that little white heart that came in the Rome kit from Allie Edwards. And there was, a, there were a bunch of acrylic pieces in white and that heart really kind of spoke to me. And I put it on the grass there on the photo and just playing around with where I might want to put some of these things, trying to think outside the box and maybe do things a little bit differently than what I would normally do. So I thought about angling one of those phrases along the log in the photo. And if it was shorter, I might have done that, but it's, it wasn't going to work. And uh, then I decided to use my Ink Road stamp set. Um, I don't know what this is called, but it's a bunch of circles and it's from Ink Road. And first I'm going to mask this off, but not with post-it notes because that's not going to work very well. I'm going to use my washi tape. So I'm just going to tape this right down to my work mat. And then I'm going to stamp a bunch of those circles in Allie Edwards uh, pigment ink. I'm going to use Astoria and I think St. Helens is the other one that I used. Yes, St. Helens. And so St. Helens is like a grayish green. It's really beautiful, almost like a sage. And Astoria is such a soft, soft pink. You can barely see it here on the video, but in real life, it it's a very subtle, soft, soft pink. It's so beautiful. I really love it. Now, of course, pigment ink does sit on top of the paper instead of soaking in, so it will take a little bit of time to... Uh, to dry and now I'm just trying to make this look random and I didn't make any of them go off the edge on the right hand side if I was paying better attention I would have made sure that some went off the edge on that side as well it doesn't really matter it's a really subtle background pattern that I'm, I'm planning to journal over top of that card says life with you is one big adventure and I actually got two copies of that same card in the kit and I'm not sure why uh, I don't know if it was a mistake, if I'm missing another card, or if I just got an extra card, or if you were supposed to get two of that one. This uh, floral card is really beautiful, and I'm pretty sure it's from the July Stories by the Month kit. I could be wrong, though, because at, I was really throwing the cards all over the place there at the beginning. <laughs> Everything got a little bit mixed up. So I am writing the crumbling coastline, and this is something that you see, I have that small photo right above where I'm putting these letters. These are Kelly Perky letter stickers, by the way. I've used them before on that other, um, on the Sir John A. MacDonald card. And uh, I have them in a variety of different colors. So I'm just using gray and green here. This is the crumbling coastline. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking this journaling directly from the tourist sign that's on um, a sign that you read as you walk along the, uh, the, I guess it's kind of like a boardwalk along the dunes. And so now that I have that title there, I'm going to do something with that little space beside the title, but I don't know exactly what. I'm having a look in my drawer. This is my whole drawer, and it's uh, basically one of those Jet Max drawers from the cubes. And I have these IKEA little white 
dishes in it that they're not dishes they're like little white storage things from the storage area of of, of ikea and uh they fit really nicely like the four of them fit in the front and then i have a, a martha stewart office supply storage unit in the back that just fills up the rest of the space and it's a really nice way to just have these beautiful trays of beautiful embellishments that I can just pull out and take a look in and then put them back when I'm done. So I took out a couple of contenders there. I have a cloud because it was kind of it wasn't all that cloudy there were lots of clouds in the sky but yeah there were there were lots of clouds in the sky but it wasn't cloudy like a gray day or anything um, and then I also took out that that blue star the cloud is a acrylic piece and the star is a rubber piece my journaling says wind waves and ice are constantly shaping this soft sandstone carving it into fascinating forms as it wears away at the coastline the north shore of prince edward island erodes at an average rate of one meter per year it is a wondrous sight to behold and most of that is completely word for word plagiarized from the uh, information plaque but I think the last sentence is mine. And then I'm putting the date, which is the 28th of August with my roller date stamp. And then I am just going to, uh, so that chipboard piece set right there came in the Rome kit, the one that's up towards the top left-hand corner of your screen. Uh, and I'm going to use almost every bit of that in these pages, but nothing from that fits in this little space beside the word coastline. So I did pull out my stash of four by six chipboard that I get in a variety of Studio Calico and Ali Edwards kits. And so I'm just pulling out some of the ones that I didn't use from previous kits. I love chipboard. And th that little triangle filled the space fine. It's kind of an awkward little space that I just wanted to fill up somehow. It didn't really matter how. So by now this card must be dry and I'm going to do some some journaling on it and I'm actually pulling out this is my pen that I love I think it's called a mono twin I can't find it to tell you what it's called I know I'm not facing the microphone right now um it I did just find it so it is called I was right it's a mono twin and it's by Tombow and somebody sent it to me. Somebody sent it to me and said, this is their favorite uh, marker. I can't remember who it was. It is oil based if that is important to you. Um, so that's good to know, but um, it has a, it has two different widths on either end and uh, I really like it. It's one of my favorites too. So you see that this writing is more bold and it has to be more bold. So I use the thicker chisel end of that marker for the journaling because uh, it has to be bold in order to stand up against that pattern that I stamped on the back. So it says because of the coronavirus, we had com we had to complete forms and declarations online before leaving for PEI. They checked our ID as we entered the island. Glad for all the safety measures. And that doesn't really go with these photos. It's just kind of, I wanted to kind of drop general pieces of information about our trip throughout the pages as I thought of it, just because um, I want to capture those details, but they don't necessarily have photos and they don't really go anywhere in the storyline per se. So I just added that Let's Roam sticker by Sophie's foot there on that bottom photo. And glued on the heart. I'm going to come back and add something to that that photo that just has the heart on it a little bit later I'm going to add one of those flags those gray flags which there of which there are so many in this kit so now I'm going to work on the insert that goes between these pages or am I I can't remember it looks like no I'm pulling out the photos that I'm going to work on next and I'm just going to leave that little baggie of sand right in there and I'll just design around it so there will be a gap in my kind of template here as I'm designing. So it looks like I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make these next pages and come back to my insert a little bit later. So this is another page that I pulled out from that travel brochure. 
It was really hard to find travel brochure, so I hung on to it and I used as much of it as I could because nobody's giving out anything paper. Uh, I'm cutting this out just using my little cutter bee scissors and to make fuss, fussy cutting a little bit easier it's a good idea to see how my hand with the scissors stays completely still and it's the paper that moves back and forth and back and forth that's really the easiest way to cut out around an intricate shape like that. Now you'll notice that that PEI map is kind of getting lost in the busyness of that card and so I'm going to mat it on a piece of craft cardstock. This is actually crumb cake cardstock from Stampin' Up, which is a very soft neutral version of craft. It's much less orange than some other companies craft paper and it's very very soft and light. As opposed to see the craft that my template is made out of, it has much more brown or orange undertones compared to the craft I'm cutting right now. And now what this is doing is it's just giving me that little border and look at how that defines the map so much better than the way it was before. That looks perfect, doesn't it? I just love that. Matting something can make all the difference in the world. It really does. I have to remember to mat more often. So this is a card. It says, um, I think that this is from one of the stories by the month kit too. It might be from July or it might be from August. It says this story, and there's other words around it, loving life, good for the soul. Um, my journaling here says, uh, Sophie had seen photos online of red cliffs in PEI and wanted to go there. We Googled it and found it was called Cape Tyron, and it was nearby. We had time to kill, so we hopped in the car and headed out. And now more journaling is going to go right here. And this card says, roam far and wander wide. And my journaling here says, we drove through a lot of cornfields onto what may, what might have been private property. It was private property and found the lighthouse. At one point, it looked like the road would take us right into the ocean. And you see that photo up at the top that looks like the road goes right into the water. That's what I'm talking about there. Uh, the cliffs were spectacular to see in person. And now I'm underlining, I'm underlining every single bit of journaling that I do here in this project. And now here's a photo of Sophie and I, I don't need a title, I don't need a caption, I don't need any journaling, it just kind of stands for itself. These were all photos that were taken up on those cliffs. It was so windy and beautiful up there. That's a little piece of chipboard that says documented the official story that's going to go on the dashboard of the car there. And uh, I'm thinking about putting this chipboard, it says take it, take it all in, all the sights, all the sounds. And I'm going to put that on that photo, but not there. The photo with, with Liv in the, in the lighthouse. So now I took this picture of our car before we drove through the red mud. It got covered in red mud before we were done our trip. And I'm just gently putting in some journaling lines here so that I can journal around that piece of chipboard that I put in place. It says we parked the car and explored the cliff tops and lighthouse. And then I'll put that roaming chipboard piece back in place. Again, that's from the Rome kit from Ellie Edwards. I'm going to put here we go on there and I'm putting it kind of at an angle. So it's sort of po pointing at us in the photos above, but also just kind of towards the layout in general. And now I am going to put this car up in the sky here. I don't normally put cars up on the sky. I usually have this thing where I want it to be on the ground, uh, but I thought it looked kind of nice up there in the clouds. And so I put it up there just for something different. And it balances out nicely with the sticker down on the dash of the car. And I put that chipboard piece that was in the sky, I put it down under kind of like a cross lives chest. And I like that because it, 
it brings attention to the main focal point, which is Liv. So I, I quite like that. She's got this lovely smile. She was having a really good time throughout the whole trip. We all really were. Like you can tell by the looks on our faces, we're all like totally smiling. Nobody got into any fights, which is not very common in our family. We've got two teenagers and they're very, very different personalities. Um, and so they, they sometimes bicker a lot, but they didn't bicker, not serious fights, but just a lot of kind of like teasing each other uh, but they didn't really do that at all on this trip which was nice because I get stressed when they tease each other because I'm always afraid they're going to take it personally even though they usually don't um, there's a fine line between sarcasm and uh, hurting somebody's feelings so this is a signpost card. It says Wander, Explore, Discover. And I'm just writing uh, By the Bay Cottages, Stanhope PEI, and then the dates August 27th to 31st. And on this side of the spread, really the focus here is on the cottage. Although that bottom corner picture of Sophie is not from the cottage, that's from a shopping trip. I love this title piece, Rome, this acrylic Rome piece that every stories kit comes with a large Rome or not a large Rome, a large word. In this month, it's Rome. It's always the name of the kit. And so the U kit had a big U and um, progress had a big progress. And so Rome. Uh, and I think it looks nice across the lawn there. A part of me was thinking that I should save that for some like gorgeous, beautiful, perfect photo. That's not like a gorgeous, beautiful, perfect photo. It's a nice enough photo. Uh, but then I thought, no, I'm not going to save it. I'm going to use it when and I try to not overthink my project life. So now here's just a, a photo. I wrote on it by hand the view from our cottage and then I stamped a little getaway from a stamp set. One of those Studio Calico stamp sets. The one that says relax on it is from that one. And I did have to stamp it a couple of times for it to show up. I use my Misty tool for that just so that if I have to double stamp it, I can. Of course, I'm saving space for that little pocket of dirt. And this card said, let, says, let's go. And I'm writing our cottage, comma, a two bedroom called Lover's Lane was right beside the pool and close to the road, giving us a great view of the ocean. And then I'm going to go back and put number 14 so that I can remember that it was cottage number 14 in case we ever want to go back to it. But then I realized that it actually says it right there on the cottage. You can see the number 14 and the title Lover's Lane. Um, this photo is, um, nice and symmetrical. And because those giant bushes in front of the house, uh, are the same on each side, it gives me free license to be able to put a large embellishment on this photo. That's going to cover one of those. And, uh, it's going to add some interest right now. That photo is not very nice because it's so symmetrical. So I'm going to come back and add something to that. So here I'm missing a photo. So there's there's an important photo that I'll print up later and come back to. I just didn't want to forget it. So I put a little post-it note with a little note on it that says I need to get so a picture of Sophie's Island rep from her Animal Crossing because that is uh, an important part of the story that we're, I'm going to tell about that photo of her with the cowboy hat. So I'm just piling all of these cards into this page protector. This is a Becky Higgins Design C uh, page protector. So that's the one with six four by six photos in it. I ran out of the Design A. Surprisingly, I thought I had enough to last forever, but somehow I, I very quickly ran out all of a sudden, but it's okay. Uh, I did order more. <laughs> And I'll get through this project with the ones that I have. So as you can see, I'm kind of shuffling things around. I'm putting photos in that are done and I'm taking out basically as I put them in, then the opposite side becomes the next page that I'm going to work on. So I'm taking those out at the same time. I'm going to cut off some of that extra plastic at the top of the Ziploc of that bag, hoping to goodness that that seal never breaks or it's going to be a really big mess in my project. Um, here I am just, I think I'm going to go back and do that 
that insert that is missing and here I'm I'm also going to put this really large puffy sticker that came in the Ally Edwards set I'm putting it right over the large bush and that I think really improves that photo it's one of the it's an example of one of those times when adding embellishment truly does help the photo because that photo was like odd the way that those two enormous bushes were they were just very conspicuous there so I like how it looks. So I am going ahead and working on the insert by the looks of it. So this side of it is basically a continuation of our beach photos. And I kind of placed them out before I even took them out of the plastic. So this one is it says into the unknown and it's a little chipboard flag from the, the Rome kit. This August memories card, I'm just accentuating with a little go slowly chipboard piece. And then this photo is going to have this little half circle that says documenting the details down in the bottom corner. And now I have this remember this card, which I think came out of my stash and not from one of the kits. I could be wrong. Uh, it could be an Allie Edwards kit card because I'm pretty sure it's a newish card. So it's either Studio Calico or Allie Edwards. It says, remember this, bring on the details. So I'm writing on this, it says, nothing beats having free time to wander and explore a new place. We found so many little treasures along the way. It's so nice to live in the moment and not be rushed. We had some, some plans, but most of our days were pretty up in the air. Like this day, for example, we knew we were going to the, amuse the amusement park at 5 p.m., but the whole rest of the day, we, we had no real plans. So we just drove around and did what we felt like. We knew we wanted to go to the beach at the beginning of the day. So flip that insert, and this is a Becky Higgins Design H insert. So it's basically half of a Design A. And I have all those photos of the um, coffee shop. It's like a little house, a little yellow house with a, a big Jenga outside. And um, my journaling here, the card says ready for adventure of any kind. And my journaling says, while Scott waited for his latte, an impromptu game of giant Jenga broke out. And then in brackets, I put, I lost because I did. And I didn't put any embellishments at all on those photos because I just really like the photos just the way they are. So now we're on to the next spread. I am basically going to just set everything out. I want to remember to use this now and then stamp set, but that's the end of my time that I have for scrapping today. So uh, check out my next video, which will be the, uh, I guess the final pages of this PEI pocket page project. So take care and have a really great scrappy week.